Good morning, art buddies. Come on in, come on in. I was going to start right in on my project this morning, and then I remembered that I was to a thrift shop. So I was going to show you a few things that I got in my thrift shop haul. What actually happened was, most of you will remember, I think, that my husband was recently in the hospital for a few days, and they discovered a... Um, Embolism, good morning, Gail, or blood clot in his lungs, very small. And um, he started to feel, uh, had a little pain in his chest a couple days ago, and his right arm felt a little funky, like a little achy, and he had some pain. Anyway, with his recent stay in the hospital, we thought it was a good idea to call the doctor, which we did. And uh, they said, go to the ER and just get checked out. So we had a little surprise visit to the ER and it was mobbed. And he said, you know, there's no reason for me to sit in there and wait. And I have lower back issues. So he sent me to the thrift shop. <laughs> so I got one of those traveling carts. You know, a couple of the girls have shown them before. Like, I know Kathy Berg has some. Um, Kathy Cal said she's got one in their house in Florida. I think Murray's got one or two. And it's got the three little baskets. And then, you know, I've been looking at them at Michael's, like, forever. Well, they had one there for a really good price. So I snatched that. And then I was looking for yarn. I was looking for bulky yarn. But I didn't see enough of one color or things that I thought that would work. Um, so as I was digging through where they keep their bulk yarn, I found two bags of lacy type stuff which I've never seen there this place is in Voorhees New Jersey and it's called red white and blue thrift store so I've already taken some stuff apart this is um I said to Kathy Cowell at first I thought there was this was some kind of fabric but it's a really wide pink ribbon and attached to that stitched to it and gathered in the middle was this wide lace so there was three or four pieces of this so this opens up this way. I don't know if you can see it better on the pink. The pinky pink. So I've got two or three really big pieces of this lace. And then I've got this pink ribbon. Now I'm going to iron the pink ribbon and see how I might use it. <laughs> hey, Dar, hi, come on in. So I'm going to iron that, or at least try. I think it will iron. I don't think it'll melt, but I don't know. So that was in the one bag. And then let me show you the rest in this bag. Next time I go, I'm going to have to pay attention because I never really like look. They have bags of ribbon and sometimes you'll see bags of, um, you know, the tool, that netting stuff. But look at this, gals. Now, I'm planning another sale and I'm going to call it my favorite things. And I'll be putting together some bundles that will include some of this stuff. But isn't that cute? That would look cute, I think, on the edge of a journal page. But look how much there is. So this was in that bag. And then this. I don't know if there's a right or a wrong side with this jazz, but so not as much as this, but still look, there's there's a goodly amount in there, right? That. And then there's this. I don't know if this is the same pattern. No, this is different. So they're all different. Got some threads there. Maybe there is a right side. I don't know. Can you see that? It's kind of hard to see, I guess. 
But see, look, there's a goodly amount of that in there, too. That. Hey, Inch. And then I've got, this is um, a tassel trim. See, it's still connected at the bottom. Fair amount of that. And there's some of this stuff. This is all like uh, in different pieces. This is heavy. This is really thick. Where's the other end? These look like big paisleys. And then you've got some, you know, little like satiny type thread that really gives that a pop. Makes it look shimmery. So there's, see, this is quite a long piece. Now, this has a little bit of staining on it, which for me, I love, I mean, I love that. Maybe somebody scorched it with an iron. Mm -hmm. But some of this I probably <clears throat> would put in um, coffee anyway. So I've got that. Kathy, hi, Kath. Um, Kathy, I saw your message this morning. I, I really kind of crashed and really zonked out last night. That piece, this is all the same. It's got that paisley. This piece, there's more of it. And there's yet some more. And then this. There's a piece of this. This is just a small piece. And then it's got this ribbon stitched on. I'm thinking I'll take that ribbon off. Uh, this looks like maybe it was going to be part of a maybe a wedding dress or something at some point and then I've got ooh, I don't know that over. and then I've got all of this of so the same thing so <clears throat> all of that was in one bag for the grand price of oh, I got other stuff in this bag give it a shake anybody want to take a guess Kathy already knows. No clue. Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. So I didn't think that was bad. And then I got this also for $7.99. I guess they figured the stuff in here was a little, um, a little more valuable. So this, there's not much in this bag. Let me see, I got a pin in there. Let's get that pin out. Now these are pieces as well. This is um, more like an ecru color. Oops, my camera's been flipping out this morning again. Hey, good morning, Pam. So I've got that. And then this. Look at how much is on there. This, this is very soft. Hey, Marty. Look how cute that is. For those scouts just coming in, I'm just showing a small hole that I got uh, the other day. Look at all that. 
I like the top of this. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I should keep a piece of black paper right next to me, but I don't always. I hope this will be any better. Not really. Can you see? So I thought that was nice. And then this. Thanks, Gail. I put a little pin in here. I have a hard time uh, finding really thin stuff a lot of times. So this is nice and thin. So there's a good amount on that too. $7.99. So even though Hubby was sitting in the ER... I was thrilled with my finds. <clears throat> and he's fine. Everything came back fine. Um, they have no idea. Now he's been, like I had mentioned before, we're on a house tour, holiday house tour in our community. And he's been putting up lights. And so he, maybe he, thank you, Gail, maybe he pulled a muscle. They have no clue, but everything's good. The um, embolism is still there, but it is smaller. So that was good to know. They took, a, of course, it's a chest scan. Um, just check on that. And, um, yeah, so it was a long day. I, like I said, I came home. It was a really long day for, well, really for both of us, but especially for him. So there you have it. That's my little haul. Wow, we were waiting to see what the ER might do for hubs. So see how that's wigging out? They did, I did, um, thank you, Marty. I did put um, my results in, for, like after you do a stream yard thing, it asks you how it went. So I did say it didn't go so good because of because of this, all of a sudden, I'll get this out. So, anywho, I'm going to start in on my project. So, yesterday, um, if you missed it, you might want to go back and check. Devin Rex for Art came on live. She said she's going to come on Wednesday afternoons um, now, which is wonderful. And she was doing jelly print. She called it um, a long haul, a big haul. Yeah, it seems like that's what it is, Dee Dee. And hi, by the way. But in the past, it hasn't been jumping like that. So I'm not sure what changed. But I think you're exactly right. So Devin <clears throat> was doing... Hey, Jen. Welcome in, everyone. Um, Devin did a, a you know, jelly print thing called a long haul where she put I missed the very beginning but apparently she put down a stencil and then started to roll paint on that and then did different pulls different prints and then at the very end she did a final pull um off of the jelly plate which the prints are magnificent but I, if I have if I'm honest with you I love looking at jelly prints I love doing jelly prints although I don't think mine are very good um but I don't really use them in stuff that I make because a lot of times they're too bright and wild and I don't really use them. But I was going to springboard a little bit off of what Devin did yesterday and just see how, how it goes. But I'd gotten a package. There's a lot of packages coming here because I do a lot of my Christmas shopping online. So this package came from Amazon and I folded it in half to put it in the trash and thought, Ew, I could make a journal from this. And then another package came. Good morning, Kathleen. And it had a bunch of packing paper. You know how you get all this all crunched up in your packages. 
And uh, my husband said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to make book pages. I'm going to make journal pages. So I ironed some of that this morning. I folded it and ironed it. I'm not sure. I think the size will work for me. So I have these. And then I thought, well, you know what? I wonder if I could gel my jelly print on these. So originally I was thinking I would just fold this in half, this packaging bag. You can't see me? Oh, Dee Dee, can you, can you see me now? There's Wendy. Hi, Wendy. And so originally I was thinking I would just trim off the ends, trim this up and keep it like this. But then after I looked at it, put my hand in there, I thought, you know what? I'm going to try something different because I want to put it on the jelly plate. I want my print to be the whole size of my cover and my pages. And so I'm going to just cut it. What I did before you got here is I folded it and I stitched it down the middle. So now I'm going to trim my edges. So I'm going to bring up my big trimmer. I wanted to do this while you were here, especially if, can Didi see me now? I'm crooked. Thank you, Didi. Maybe that's a little better. So, and then it's kind of sealed. These packages, you know, you've seen them. They're kind of sealed here. And I was thinking this could be a pocket, but I really wanted a little smaller. And I, I have, I struggle with um, really cutting things apart and making them the way I want. So I don't care if this is open. I might end up sealing it after all, but I want to trim it not too far down because i don't want you know if there's any fluff in there you see me fine okay thanks Dee. Dee. but i just want to trim a little bit of this off and i'm not sure this is going to work because i have hey dawn So I'm just going to, let's see, let me get a little pair of scissors. Maybe, well, they're really little. Oh, maybe a little, a little too little. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's thicker there. Okay. So I don't mind if it opens, if it should, but I don't want it to, um, I don't think there's, well, it feels a little thicker, but I'm not sure if there's like loose stuff in there to kind of create the pattern. It doesn't feel like it's bubble wrap, but it might be. And I have a smaller guillotine, but I don't think because of the size of this, it would have fit. So I'm trying to trim that down. This way, I want it to... See, I've got a little... Before it gets poofy there. I'm just going to take a little bit off of this, I think. He thinks! So that's so sealed. Now this is going to be a bigger journal, of course, because of the size. Now this is the bottom of the bag. And I just want to eyeball that. So I hope everyone else is doing well. Our lives have been a little unpredictable, to say the least. Now, this did, of course, have different stickers on it for mailing. So I took my heat tool. This might not be enough. Yeah, it's open. Okay. So 
So I took my heat tool and got those stickers off. So it's still it's a little sticky in the center, but I figured once I start working with the bag, it, it should be fine. At least that's what I'm hoping. So now this is what I'm thinking. These are my pages. And I'm thinking it's just going to go like that. So see, they're going to need a little bit of a trim. And I have other, I just didn't take the time this morning. I'll probably put other pages in here. Um, but for today and for today's stream, I thought I would just start with these. So now my question to myself is, so see, I can still use that as a pocket. But I'm wondering if I take more off. See, I'm just afraid that if I take too much off, it's going to have all kinds of yucky stuff in there. See, because when you get, see, it's not real thick. There is some kind of padding in there. Who's been eating kids? So I'm going to get out my jelly plate. And what I've pulled out is this stencil. And then I have a butterfly stencil I might do on top. So I'm just going to see how this goes. This is the, not the, I want my large jelly plate. Now, sometimes when I get started with the jelly plate, I kind of, you know, get carried away. So what I was thinking is, Lori, it might be the bright reflection from your overhead light making. Yeah, and I've had that too, really, for quite some time. And it didn't used to jump like this. I usually try to cover that up um, because I find it annoying. Um, I'm really just... Everything is really just kind of the same as it usually is. And it just started... On Sunday, yeah, on my glass plate, yeah, I gotcha. Who did? Who popped out? I missed who. Who left? Bye, Kathy. Maybe it was Kathy Cow. She might be going to the. She might be going to um. The hospital. The hospital store today. What do they call it? The um. It's not a thrift shop, gift shop. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to try to do is jelly print on some of my, on my pages and, oh, and just leave this down and do several coats like Devin did in her haul. And not go crazy with colors. I'm really thinking about using... Uh, this patina color and this kind of has a coppery brown underneath. So I was thinking about something like that. So we'll just say, oh, she's going back to bed. Okay. She probably had a, a tough night sleeping. Okay. Thanks, Gail. Um, so let's see. I don't think I have much of my patina left. So let me try. I think I'm going to try Bahama Blue. Deco art, and then I want <coughs> goodness, I want some kind of um, like I don't want it to be all crazy, like I like crazy, but I just I don't know, at least this is what I have in my brain. Crazy, I think I'm gonna start with some copper, maybe I have copper. And I don't think there's much in here. I haven't jelly printed in a while. And I don't have that wonderful big rolly, rolly uh, 
thing that Devin has, you know, the brayer. Ooh, hers would like be this whole. She's she's got it going on. That Devin Rex. Devin Rex. Devin Rex. Okay, so somewhere here I also have <coughs> goodness me. Little books that I'm using to roll off prints, you know, roll my brayer off on. So let me just have a moment to see if I can find one. I think I can use this one. So I've got some previously used painty papers here. you know printed papers and <clears throat> the backs are plain so I was I thought I could just start by fussing around with those to see how it goes and I tend to put too much on my plate so I'm going to try it this way And try not to be too heavy handed. So for those who might replay and you're unfamiliar with a jelly plate or jelly printing, it's, um, I don't know, it's a silicone kind of a material. It's about maybe, you know, not quite a half inch thick. It's squishy. And you can apply paint to it and then add paper and then pull up a design if you're using you can, you can do a design with brushes with your fingers you know plastic lids you could use a stencil now Devin Rex Devin Rex for art yesterday if you didn't catch her alive go back and watch it's very good very good very good she got some really cool prints but she just kept adding color to an original her stencil was real cool um so i'm going to do the copper again because i really want to now see i go back and forth and devin says you should get yourself in the habit of going one direction Yeah, this is fairly new stencil to me, uh, Dawn. I saw someone use some something like it, and um, of course went on the search, and this is what I came up with. Now, a lot of times with my, I don't mind so much my painting papers to kind of add them in on a project. Or say like you're doing a cluster or a tag. See, I get crazy with the colors because I like color, but then I don't really use them in anything. And to throw them into a junk journal, they're also cool. But then see, I don't go back and put anything on the back. So I thought it might be fun to um, do this whole thing that... Devin was talking about. Now this is this is the uh, Bahama blue. I kind of wanted, and the other thing I noticed is that Devin only puts her paint on kind of like that. See, I just I want to come back the other way, and I'm really trying to push that color into that stencil. And one reason I was trimming down the packaging too is because I wanted it to fit on the stencil instead of having to try to maybe piece it too much. Now Dev really gives it a rub.
but I don't think it's going to have the look that she was getting unless I start layering up some colors. So I'm going to throw some... Other colors on here just to try to build up um, so you get little bits of different things this is harbor blue see I purchased this harbor blue because I know one time Didi was using harbor blue and it just looked like such a great color and it is and there for a while I had a hard time finding it <clears throat> so I bought several Shocker. See, there I go again. What I'm trying to avoid doing for myself personally, because I know this is how I get, I put too much paint on and then it's just a big blobby mass of mush. How's that sound? A big blobby mass of mush. And Devil Peak. Ooh. Ooh. I do do glitter and stuff on my plate. That doesn't bother me. Let's add in some craziness. See, now it's going to wear away. So I'm trying to work the plate till I get a print that I really like that I think I can start using on my, my journal pages. And then I'll do the journal. Oops, that's too much. Okay, let's just not put any of anything else on. Because I want to be able to see little hints here and there, but just not the whole wild color. And for the journal itself, you know, I'm thinking hmm, maybe more natural leaves foliage kind of stuff as far as um you know tuck-ins and cards and stuff like that so let's give it a little massage a little massage <clears throat> So, the house tour that we're involved in in our community, and I say we're because I live here, but it's really the hubby. He does all the decorating. Ooh, that does look cool. Let's see, let me clip this over here out of the way. That's kind of cool. Hmm. So now let's go with a deeper blue. Let's, I'm going to start building. So when I'm thinking, when I take this off, my final pull will be the cover of my journal. This is Ultra Blue Deep. Yeah, I'm not going to do a haul like uh, Devin did. She did like 20-some different layers. See, are you watching me? Do you see how I keep going in different directions? Um, anywho, the tour is actually Saturday afternoon, but this evening... The folks that are their homes are oh, homes are in the tour are going around to see each other's houses because the day of the tour on Saturday, you know, they won't be able to because they have to be at their own home. 
So that's tonight. So they're meeting at one of the homes at seven. So what I'm hoping to do is after Hubs gets everything lit up, um, pop on live and do a, a walkthrough tour if anybody would be interested. So maybe 6.30, 7 o'clock. Um, I think I think I know how to do it with my phone to do a live. I won't be able to read chat really though because I need different glasses, <laughs> different glasses for different things. And um, I was thinking I would do it when he when he left. So we'll see. So you, if you have time tonight, you might look for that because everything really looks nice. I mean, it's not like. Um, Oh, I'm liking that. Hey, that one looks cool. The camera doesn't like that. That blue. Okay. Let's go back to some copper. Now, I was thinking I might do some pages with the leaves and then the other pages with the butterfly. So, I didn't show you the butterfly stencil. That's the butterfly stencil. So, I was thinking that might look cool on top. Oh, geez. I just don't understand what you, you haven't changed anything with your camera. And the lighting is the same, except for whatever light's coming in from outside. Why it changes how your camera is behaving. And just wanting to chat. All right, so let's put this one down. And give it a little massage. This morning I was humming and singing a song, two songs really, from an old movie called April Love with Pat Boone. Now I'm really dating myself. Where that came from, I have no idea. Haven't been thinking about it. It's not April. Did not watch it on TV. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know why some of this stuff comes in your head. That's kind of, whoops. Something just, oh, Philly. Something just slid out of its little compartment. Okay, let's see. I don't want to wheel over that. I gotta just excuse me one minute here. I've got to pick this up. Move it out of my range of my chair. Oh, that's better. All right. Yeah, there's really not much left in this one. This one is actually called Patina. I'm going to sit that upside down and see how I like that. All right, so I'm going to try a test page. This isn't, isn't my actual page. This is just a cutoff from the packing paper. So we'll do a test with that and see how this might look. Yeah, see this. Oh, I did pick up the patina. Excuse me. My paint. My paint is having a bad day. So you often hear me talk of my bonus son, Gary, who lives in the UK. He lives in Nottingham. And 
I spoke to him yesterday. When Gary lived with us, he had nicknames for everybody. Well, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people in our family. And he would call, my mother's name is Fran, and he would call her Fran Town. So that's kind of what I refer to her as when I'm giving him updates on my mom or whatever's happening. And so when we had taken mom, when she started to really have trouble with her dementia, and we decided we needed to take her to the hospital. Um, we were waiting in the ER for them to get her room ready because she was going into a memory care unit. I took a video. She was so you don't really see that too well, do you? I might have to put some brown on here. Um, but at that point, she was pretty much like herself. You know, we were cutting up and carrying on. So eventually what I did was send that video to Gary. Now, Gary's got three little girls. The one is just a newborn. And he's got, uh, I guess, like what? Uh, I'm trying to remember when they were born. Raya Grace was born. Hmm. I think she's like two. Yeah, she's got to be three. And then Yaya's probably one and a half. But they know me as Mama Lori. So we were chatting. Gary and I were chatting. And he said, well, the girls are getting ready for bed. Why don't we I'll go up and you get to see the girls? He was thinking they were in the tub. But when we went up there, they had mattresses on the floor, not on box springs. So the girls were not in any any harm's way, but they were jumping on the mattresses. And their mom was up there. They were dancing and singing and carrying on, you know, having fun. Not really settling down before <laughs> before bed. But, but then when Gary said I was there on the phone... Mama Lori, the first thing, then Yaya said something, and he said to me, did you hear what she said? I said, no, not really. Well, <laughs> well here, since I sent that video, and he showed them the video of us in the ER with my mom, every day, Yaya asks to watch the video of Fran Town laughing. Isn't that cute? So stinking cute. You can't really see what I was hoping you could see on this paper. So do I have to, I guess maybe I have to go lighter. I, I don't want to see it a little bit. And maybe it'll get a little, I think it dries lighter, right? I do want it to be subtle. So maybe, maybe let's just go with it. Okay. So I'm going to add more of my copper. I keep throwing my paper up. See, my copper is running out as well. So I probably am going to switch to another metallic. Now I'm really pressing because I'm trying to press down in that. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Loop -de -loop. Don't want the cover yet. Now I'm putting that down that way, and then I'm going to take a larger piece of paper over top so that I don't get it all over my fingers. Now you want meatballs, paint forks, yes. What spurred meatballs? 
Where's this a reel I watched the other day? This guy took, and I'm not a fan of that Hawaiian, is that Hawaiian bread that you can get now? King's Hawaiian something or other. Ron and my neighbor like it. Okay, so now I've got this folded. I did stick my finger in the paint. So that's kind of cool. You love that bread, Gail? So does Ron. Ron loves it. My neighbor, Betty. I'm the odd one out when it comes to that. That's for sure. Anyway, this guy took a loaf of that. If any of you are not familiar, it's just like a block like this. And then it's got individual little rolls. I think there's what, maybe four across the top. And so he took that and then he carved out... <clears throat> A hole in the center of each one and then he put a little bit of he had some um, like pizza or tomato sauce in a squeeze bottle so he squeezed a little bit in the in the bottom of the hole then he took a frozen meatball this is where I see I'm, I'm not just telling you random stuff going off of the meatball idea so he took the meatball Popped it in that hole, topped it with a little more sauce. Then he took um, a cheese blend of some kind. I don't know if he used, oh, I think he used mozzarella. Sprinkled that all over. You don't eat bread, Inch? Good for you. Oh, no, no, I'm missing a, after, after the meatballs went in and the extra sauce, he sprinkled on Italian seasoning. Then he put the cheese on. Then he popped it in, a, I think he said a 375 oven for 20 minutes. He called the meatball sliders. I mean, I'm not a fan of that bread, but the sweetness and then the um, sauce, you know, I think it might be good. It might be that my stencil is not as, um, the stencil that Devin used was real swirly and circly and stuff. And stuff. Let me use a little more of this. This is the, um, I want to say Harbor Freight, but it's not Harbor Freight. I'm going to put a little white in here too. Uh, Harbor Blue. I'm going to add a little white over here. Now, I'm not going to do this the whole time because this can be... You know, a little annoying, a little annoying. Okay, it's such annoying. See, I'm getting some cool stuff around the edge because I've got all those colors. <laughs> Angie says, Dee, stop playing with those Barbie dolls. All right. I do want to get a couple of the um, butterfly ones done. Ooh. Kind of like that one. See, I can see the greeny, greeny blue there. 
Mm, yeah, that's kind of nice. All right, so let me think about my cover because I'm I can come back and do more of this later, but I want to do a couple of the butterfly and I want to put this on my cover. So maybe I'll do a combo. Maybe I'll do a little bit of the copper. Then I'm going to do a little bit of the Harbor Blue. This is where I'm going to get in trouble. Harbor Blue. Then I'm going to do the Bahama. And then some white. And then I'm going to start, start, I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to start at the bottom. And then the blue. Coming across to the green. And then the white. Kind of blend this through. This is where it might just you know look terrible but as we all know junk journal can be anything and so this is my cover and this is what I don't want to do I just put my fist over there because I don't want to get smears on my cover on the inside if I don't have to. This could be a total bust. Now, Devin was using all different kinds of paper. She had tissue paper. She had um, some kind of paper that was like a linen -y type of paper. It looked like some tracing paper. See, look at that stuff. See, that's all cool. That's cool. That's not too bad. So before I take this off, see, because I want to get underneath there and get this is probably the back. I should have thought that. I should have thought about that a little better, I think. I can fold it this way. This could be the front. Because I think when I peel this up, I have to let it dry. And then I want to put that here. And then do butterflies on top. So let's just do it. Now, Devin let hers uh, air dry. And she used, at one point, she used like a little. She did like this here. But see, Lori's too impatient for that. So I'm going to use the low setting of don't do this at home. Hey, Dusty, hi. Don't do this at home. It's ill-advised. I'm using the low setting on my heat tool. And I'm keeping it moving and I'm not real close to the surface. got to use the clean finger to see if it's coming up. Now I have to decide what color I want to put down. Hmm. The other thing is Devin used like shimmery colors. I have some of that, but not, not a whole lot. 
look at this color. This is called Iced Espresso. Ooh. Now, I'm only going to get one pull in all, in all likelihood, right? So, um, I can't do a test. I'm thinking Devin would clean that up right there. I wonder if I can get that up. There's a girl that Devin recommended I watch. I forget what her name is. But she does clean up too on her jelly plate when she does. You know, every once in a while I'll see her take a um, piece of paper toweling or tissue. And I just am not liking how that kind of ran when I was pushing the roller. So that's, that's not too bad. All right, so I'm going to use the espresso, and let's just see. Hi, Dell. How are you? Good morning. All right, so I don't want to get too heavy-handed because this is what I do. So I'm just going to go very thin. I'm going to flip the page on my roll off. Roll off. This, I think, was last year's Amazon toy catalog. All right. So this is iced espresso. I think I will need more. Let's drag this down. Yeah, because this isn't through the stencil. This is the, um, you need a little bit more, I think. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. Oh, look, I picked up some. Oh, that's kind of cool. Over here, there was some copper. Yeah, let's grab more of that. I know I usually have it too thick. All right, so this is the uh, moment of truth, as they say. I think that I want this to be the front now. So I'm going to lay it down. And give it a rub. Lori, did you get your Christmas journal? Oh, sweetheart, no. No. Works in progress here. My life is just very different since July. I just really don't even get much time in my in my room a lot of days. Oh, working on stuff. Kathy and I keep laughing. I keep saying I, I remember having a boring life. Uh, not that much came up. Not that much came up, I have to say. You miss you miss boring? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I miss boring. Okay, so some of this is still down, and I think eventually it will come up. I'm going to put down my butterfly stencil. Now, this isn't a stencil. This is the remains. Um, yeah, me either. I can't get stuff done that I want to get done. But it's, you know, for me and what I'm doing right now, it's just not a big deal. I mean, you know, I don't have to get anything done. So I'm going to plop. Now this was, if you just have come in, was a stencil, the leaf stencil that I put down, which I don't know where I now put that. Oh my goodness. See, this is why I'm so, there it is. 
see this is my leaf stencil which has been down and I guess I did maybe six or seven maybe ten ten coats <clears throat> and then I peeled it up and did my front cover so this has still got jazz on there and that's not it's a little wet right there but I want to put this on top my butterfly and hopefully see what that might look like when I start pulling prints. So I think I want to start dark. So I'm going to do this um, ultra blue. Maybe I'll start at the bottom dark, a little bit up the side, and then just let's put a little Bahama, Bahama Mama here. Oh, it really doesn't like the blue. Ooh. I'm going to do a tester. Da -da -de 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 -da 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 -da. You're working on ATC cards? Cool. Coolio, coolio. Yeah, I do like that. Okay, so let's try the brown. Oh, let's try the um, espresso. <clears throat> let's see if any of that, probably not. I felt like I was paying attention when Devin was doing her thing. And it might be, uh, I'm going to use the other side of this. These are the pages that I am going to use in my junk journal. You like it? Thanks, Dan. Me too. I looked through some of my stencils. I have the bigger ones, like in one of those 12 by 12. Um, scrapbook storage bins. I don't have too much in the way of big. Oh, that's cool. And then my paper kind of wrinkled. So see, these are just backgrounds. It was a typo, Dell. I think Ange meant ATC, Artist Trading Card, is what I'm thinking. All right, so let's try a little bit of the lighter. Let's do the lighter. Oh, this is the patina again. This is the uh, one that farts. Oh dear, excuse me. Such a lady. Thank you, Dusty. Thanks, Gail. Okay, so I'm running out. I'm running out. Let's put a little white at the top. I'm trying to stick with this small range of colors. Usually I've got, you know, 20 some different bottles of paint out. Try not to do that. Trying not to do that. It's very difficult for moi. Wait. I'm going to drag my white down. I'm going to put 
pick up some of that copper that I'll be at the top. I'm hoping, I'm hoping and wishing for the very one to find me. I know that's not the words. Today. Yeah, so I was singing April Love this morning. April Love. All right, who else wants to uh, reveal their age and tell me you remember that movie, April Love with Pat Boone? It's for the very young. Now, this is a little different because I have a folded page there, so I'm really trying to press down. I just took apart a beautifully designed paper bag. It's going in my... Ah, cool. Who just said they bought a paper bag specifically because they wanted to make... They saw it. They were out. They saw it. They purchased it because they wanted it to be a junk journal. And I'm not remembering who said it. See, I think maybe I'm not pushing down hard enough. Now, this packaging, this is packaging paper. So, it's, I have a couple pieces that are a little heavier, but this happens to be a fairly thin weight. See, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do it. I really don't want it to tear. But when I put on this acrylic paint and it starts to dry, it's going to give the paper a little more body. Dusty. It was dusty. Yeah, I've got paint like that, too. Now, the blob stuff. See, I have a hard time still throwing that out, Dusty. I scoop that out with my palette knife, and sometimes I'll use it. I shouldn't, but I do. Truth be told, I do. I do, I do, I do. All right, so. Now, I want to think about putting this on my front cover. So I was thinking I'm going to put butterflies on here. So maybe I'll do the back just because I can. Waste not, what not. I've heard that before. All right, so let's do a little bit of this espresso in the middle. Then I'm going to do some of the brown. My... Copper is pretty much, unless I cut it out, cut the bottle in half and scoop it out, is pretty much dead. And I see, well, wait a minute, here's some more copper. Let's see what this says. This says metallic copper. Oh, this sounds really juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Yeah, that's real juicy. Okay. Espresso. Actually, I think this would look really cool on regular paper. Maybe not. Maybe not. No one responded to the age thing? <laughs> Smart women. Okay. Oh, that's kind of 
a mess. He thinks kind of a mess, especially down here. Too much paint. That kind of looks, you probably can't see it. That kind of looks okay. I wonder what would happen if I see, I have some of the shift stuff. I have it. This is called Color Shift. That's got a gloss finish. Emerald Flash. And then I've got this. This is color shift, and this is called Orchid Flash. Let's try a little Orchid Flash. See, I said I wasn't going to put in any other colors. Orchid Flash with the um, Espresso. Pat Boone, there you go. Cliff Richards. I didn't remember Cliff Richards. Elvis? Oh, was Elvis in that one? Who was the girl? She was a blonde, right? Who was the girl? That boom was so cute. It was so cute. All right, I'm going to try one of the pages. Let's try. <laughs> Gosh, let's see. Well, I guess I'm still closer to a half century than I am a century, but it's getting getting close. <laughs> Oops, I don't want to get my stencil. I'm almost grabbing my stencil. Oh, this one's maybe a little better. I do like that light pink color shift in there. All right. All right. So let's try. You don't remember the movie, Gail? Oh, you never liked Pat Boone? I don't really remember being a super Pat Boone fan. I just remember liking that movie. And like I said, I don't even remember why I would even have that song in my head. Crazier things have happened. All right, let's see how this looks on the Packaging paper. Now I'm not going to put the journal together because I, hey Kimberly, hi, um, because I want to be able to do more pages. See how this looks. Well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. 
I wouldn't mind a couple more of those. Okay. So now I want to make sure, let me see, where are some of the, that's still my cover. Where's my other? Gosh, do I only do a couple? Good golly, Miss Molly. Hmm. I know I did more than, oh, maybe it's up there. I've got a dry. Here we go. I want to do the other sides of these. Okay, so that's two sided. These are dry. I'm going to turn this inside out. I wonder how messy it would be if I layered a stencil on top of a stencil. Oh, dusty. Oh, I've done that before, Dusty. Yeah, that explains the half a century thing. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, listen. So what if I let's try let's be really let's be really weird. Let me put down some of this pink. A color shift. They say orchid, orchid something or other. Orchid. Let's add some of the green shift down here. And then maybe a little bit of white. Now I'm going to brayer that out pretty well. You going out, babe? Huh? Not yet. Oh, you're just after. Okay. All right. So, brayering that out pretty well. Now I'm going to put my leaf stencil on top. I don't know that this is really going to work, but. Maybe I'll put just a little bit of white. And some of the Bahama Mama. I don't think he wants any. Well, let's put a little bit of this dark blue down here. Just a little smidge. Just a little smidge. Just crazy. That's not so dry. Oh well. If you just got here and if you have the time go back and see the beginning of my live today I went to a thrift shop hubby was in the ER and so he sent me to the thrift shop instead of waiting she's very unusual girls so I did find a few things I wasn't in there long I really was kind of um you know, I was a little nervous about what was going on with him, so I wasn't there too terribly long. Just long enough to just do a little damage. Just a little look.
Okay. That pretty much looks like a hot mess, I think. Now, what if I take up that stencil, the leaf stencil? Get another page. See if I can get anything. up here. Glad I pulled out all these map pages. They're nice and big, you know. I, although I think um, jelly printing on a map page might be kind of cool too. No, I mean, it's not too bad if, it, if I'm looking for, which I am, just a background page. I think I should have rubbed on my other my page better. All right, so let's do a little bit of the... Um, I'm going to try to just get these four pages. I think I have four. To where all sides have something on it. So this is the um, Harbor Blue. This is the Bahama Breeze or whatever it is. I keep thinking Bahama Mama. I'm really pushing. Did you push it? All right, so now I'm looking for. Okay. Lori, have to go. Okay, have to leave. Have a great you too, Gail. Thanks, Gail, so much for coming in. Enjoy your day. Give Elvin a little kiss for me. Oh, I want a puppy so bad. I can just. Oh, I was. I like to watch reels in the evening after Ron goes to bed, and. As you know, once you start watching them, they send you all different reels that are kind of basically the same topic. So there was one I was, it was um, Selma Hyatt. She was on the Jimmy Fallon show. Of course, she's got a very strong Spanish accent. If you don't know who she is, she's an actress. And she would, on the reel, you didn't get this part. But when I went back to find it on YouTube, you get the whole story where she just, she's an animal lover. And she likes to rescue animals. And so she was somewhere and she, just, she you know, she, she just, they come across her path. She finds them on the streets. So I guess she was out and about and she saw this dog and she thought, if I take this dog in, my husband, just, he's going to go crazy. So she's telling Jimmy Kimmel, so I'm th she's thinking to herself, how can I tell him I'll make it sound like I'm having an affair and I guess her thought was that then when he finds out I just picked up another dog, it'll be okay. 
So she's, she's got this thick Spanish accent, which by and which I don't, I don't know that I can do, but she's saying, so I call him up. I say to him, I have to, we have to talk. And she said, I'm not that kind of girl. So he was scared. And she starts saying stuff like, I just have to tell you this. This is very difficult for me to say. But I'm working so hard and I'm lonely. I don't know what came over me, but I just had to. And her husband says, don't tell me you picked up another dog. It was so funny. So I sent that reel to my husband while he was in the ER because I've been begging for a puppy. And then I said to him, if you keep doing this and happen to go to the hospital and go to the ER, I'm going to have to get a puppy because it's like a morgue here. He said, well, now you're going to give me a heart attack. <sighs> I just need a puppy. I just need a puppy. All right, let's do some of this pink. Maybe a little white. So I'm trying to get these pages covered. I'm not even looking at my time. Actually, what I really want to do is really, really, really want to do. Hey, Devin. Devin, have your ears been burning? Devin, I'm messing this up royally. Look, texture paste, sparkle. That's probably not a good thing to put down on my plate. Devin, I'm kind of, I'm inspired by what you did yesterday with your haul and all your layers. But I think, first of all, my stencil is not, um, it's not crazy enough. It's just not crazy enough. And, of course, I'm printing on brown paper. <laughs> your ears are fine. <laughs> Good. So I'm just trying to get these pages. I should have probably, I should have probably. These pages are a little damp. They're not totally, they're not totally dry. I'm not totally. And I don't want to get, I don't think, a smudgy woogy on here. Actually, on there might not be too bad. And then I want to do my cover. Oh, I did. Devin, I enjoy everything you do. You're just so creative. So I said to those that were here, if they didn't check out your live yesterday, they should do it. And I'll put your... Um, I'll make sure to put your <laughs> smudgy, smudgy. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to put your channel in when I upload. I have a hard time remembering to do stuff like that. It's like I'm done the live and I'm moving on. I don't know if you guys, I want it very subtle. So I think I am at least achieving that. So now I've got those pages. I just have to do the back side of that one. This one, oh, I've got all four done on that one. So that one's good. I'm going to have to hit those with my, hit them with my heat tool, I think. And I need the back side here. Let's do um, some of the espresso. And let's do some of the, uh, the, the uh, pink shifty. Nifty shifty. And some white. Yeah, I'm not sure how it's going to look when they're really, really dry. When they're really, really dry. When they're really, really, really dry. Really, really, really dry. But I'm guessing they'll dry lighter. And I'm trying. It's very hard for me, Dev, to um, 
wheel in just one direction at a time. Let's move this up. Now, I want to put some pockets in, too. So, I probably should print on a couple smaller pieces so I can do pockets. Pocket, 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 pocket. Let's see. I've got a couple pieces here. This is smaller. Janice Glines, how are ya? The last few lines in chat, if I don't know what the heck was happening. <laughs> Did we give you a laugh? Are you laughing? I thought you had said it was better to wheel in one direction now. At some point. There might have been some tips you were helping me with because I'm jelly print challenged. Janice. Okay, so see, maybe that could be a pocket, a, a part of a pocket. Um, I'm going to do, this is crazy, but I'm just going to do a little tiny bit of that bright green. And some of the color shift green. And then uh, the camera really doesn't like this deep, ultra deep blue. But I like it. I'm trying to knock back that bright green a little. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, Lori, that may have been when picking up an image. Oh, that could be Dev. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. She's a genius. I'm telling you, if anybody's watching this, and I don't get that many views on, on my lives, but I'm just saying, if you are interested in jelly printing, Devin is a must-see, really. She's very... Uh, creative. She uses a lot of different things on her plate. And um, she's just got the touch. And she's delightful. Right, girls? All right. So I'm putting this other page here so I can squish all out and uh, give my page a little massage. And not, well, I'm already a mess. But I don't want to transfer any of the blobbage onto mine. That's a pretty nice looking thumb. Can I call that a green thumb? Dare I call it a green thumb? Oh, this one's not bad. All right, so I've got four pages there. I've got a pocket page there. I've got four pages there. I think there's enough for me to work with to get, at least give you an idea. Oh, I've got the back of this one. So let's see. This is mostly blue. Let's do some um, espresso. I'm going to put my leaf, I'm going to put my leaf stencil back down. Hmm. I think I kind of like it on an angle. I know this is crazy, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So I think I want some of my pink work at shift. Tad bit of white. Worcester Tad. And some Bahama Mama. And a little bit of this. Um, maybe I'll go dark. 
I'm going dark. Some of that deep blue. Give it a go. Now my page has got a little crooked here. So I'm kind of refolding, trying to recrease, recrease that. This is going to be very um, light as well because I just think it will be because I didn't put that much paint on, which I'm trying not to put too much paint on because I am very heavy. Very heavy handed. Bye, Marty. Thanks for coming. Have a good day. Barbara, Barbara's in the house. Hi, Barbara. Barbara chicken pot pie. Been making any chicken pot pies lately? We had some last week. Was yummy. All right, a little massage right here. I still haven't seen Judy. Oh, guys, I'm really, really uh, wanting to see Judy. Mm, I think I didn't press hard enough in the middle, but that's kind of cool. It just looks like a mishmash. That's okay. Now I'm going to pull this up. And I think I want to just, oh, look, I found another page. I wonder what this will do. I don't have the middles. That's all right. I don't need the middles. I wonder what this will do. Let's just see what else I can pick up here. That's okay too for a base. Wondering about some of this jazz and tazz around the edges. Some of that might be kind of cool to pick up. No, this is packaging, Devin. I am using a Amazon paper bag patch packaging bag. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and this is crumpled up packing paper that I ironed this morning and then cut down to work in my project. So now I'm going to pull up my butterfly stencil. And I'm going to let this dry like is advised. And I'm going to use this on my cover. <sighs> At least that's the plan. So let me dig out my cover. Where did I put make cover? I just saw it. I just saw it. So this is a packaging bag. I did trim it down some. Um, so I've got pockets for the covers. I may trim that some more. I'm not sure. And I'm thinking, oh gosh, everything's falling. I'm thinking I might trim it a little more. But I did this thinking that would be my cover. But what did I not like about that? There was something about it I didn't like. It looks okay to me now. I don't know. I have options. Let's just say I have options. So I want to dry this. And I think I want to put that on there. So, and I know Devin doesn't use her heat tool. but I, And I don't advise you doing this. But I'm, I'm, do what I say, don't do what I do. Camouflage. I'm doing it on the low setting. I'm not real close. And I know 
softly. Yeah. Very softly. It's really wet in here. Now, if you do, if you do this and you don't do it quickly, you know you're going to ruin your plate and you're going to bubble up your paint. So you have to move it quick and you have to use the low settings. And then just keep checking it so it's not getting too terribly hot. Man, I would love to put some glitter paste in, in that butterfly. I don't think that glitter paste is a good idea. I use glitter paint and have not had a problem. But I just purchased this um, texture paste sparkle from Tim Holtz. I haven't used it yet. So I'm um, chomping, 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 chomping. I guess I could put it on the bag afterwards if I really wanted to. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we have we have humidity. It's, try, it's hard to find a clean finger. It's a little. It's a little tacky, I gotta tell you. So now I'm wondering what color that I want to use to pick this up. I'll get my. Maybe I'll clean my fingers a little bit. She wore blue velvet. Oh, is that Papin? Bluer than velvet were her eyes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I guess. Well, there's no happy medium. All right, Janice. She will be right back. Boy, that's really, that's really sticking to me. That's sticking to me. All right, I'm going to take a little. Um, <clears throat> see, what I don't know about this bag is, is there's probably some kind of padding in there. And I think I would like to have these open. At the top and bottom, I may just do it. After I print, I may just trim that up. I mean, really, what, what's the worst that could happen, right? Bobby Vinton, yes, thank you. We were talking about um, Pat Boone earlier with April Love. April Love is for the very young. All right, so uh, I think I'm going to do this copper. This is very running, running copper. Hey, copper. I'm going to put a little. I know, right? Bobby Vinton. And who was the other one that was, um, oh, we had the dark hair. Uh, Bobby Vinton. He had just one name. Would this start with an F? At least who I'm thinking of. Wow. See, Devin comes and I start putting on too much paint. I get nervous. Who was that? Not Frankie Valley, the guy that was always in the movies with um oh Annette Annette Funicelli, right? Was it Annette Funicelli? Fabian? Oh, it might be Fabian. Am I thinking Fabian? Yeah, I think you're probably right, Kathleen. He was dark hair, right? Frankie Avalon. Oh, Frankie Avalon. That might be. I'm picking up both of them, I think. 
Frankie Avalon was a little guy, right? He was a little tiny dude, wasn't he? All right, I can't see anything there. This is probably not going to be what I want, but it's going to have to be. Good enough. Good enough. My dad loves a net from a cello. A cello? I think I'm saying it right. I'm close to it. You know who I mean. The little gal with the dark hair. My dad liked her. Funny jello. Funny jello. Funny jello. Yes, Stephen's right. Frankie Avalon was in all the beach blanket movies with a net. He did a cameo in Greece. He was the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The beauty school dropout. Yes. Well, this may not be my cover. Because <laughs> you can't really see. They didn't really pick up anything. But if you watch Devin's last live, you'll see how to do it right. But this, I mean, this will work to some degree. All right, let's see if I can. I need something on this back cover. So I'm just going to quickly put this on top of that mess. And I'm going to grab my... Iced espresso. And maybe a little drip of the Harbor Blue and the Bahama. Mama. And I'm going to turn my rub off page. Flip that over. They'll probably all be stuck together. Let's do dark to light. Some of you may remember that I took my eight and a half by eleven or ten jelly plate and I whacked it up into all different sizes. I'm so glad I did that because I have this big one that I can use for this kind of stuff. But boy, if I want to do something small, oh my gosh, I have used that so much more for me. It's not for everybody. I could have purchased more, but I didn't feel like spending the money when I rarely use, with the bigger plate, I was rarely using that smaller, you know, plate. So I just whacked it. It cut really easy. I just used, you know, my little exacto knife thingy. And boy, I just really like it. So if I want to do a quick jelly print on a small project, a tag, or a small journal, I can just pull out the little piece. It's not... It's not a big deal. Oh, blue suede shoes, Elvis. Yeah, yeah. So I got a little, I got a little something, something there. All right. So I'm gonna set that aside, but I need to clean this plate off. And I'm gonna use another one of my pages for my journal. Um, just so I can pick up this this mis, mis, mishmash. I think I'm just going to try white. Mm. And now I'm going to put the plate aside. I think I'm going to trim down my pages. How am I on time? I'm almost on time. I want to build a pocket, I think. On at least one page, and I probably want to put some different pages. It's not going to be all finished today, not just not because I just 
I want to fuss around with it a little bit, I think. But I'm just thinking now is the time when a lot of folks are getting stuff in the mail, packages and whatnot, for the, if you shop for the holidays. And the plastic bags, I'm not, too, I'm not into those. But when I went to fold this paper packaging bag in half to put it in the trash, I looked at it and I thought, journal. So maybe things are the same at your house. And probably what I should do is cut it the way I want because then we can see together if there's any yuck on the inside. So I'll come back and finish off my pages, the rest of the pages. I might do some with just some coffee stain. Um, I might also leave some plain. I don't know. Junk journal, your choices and what you want to do is completely up to you and can be as junky as you want. <sighs> things are the same. Did you ask if things are the same or stain at my house? Oh, was somebody asking you about? Oh, I asked. It's the same. I mean, I'm just assuming everything, everybody's house is insane. Because that's how it's been here. good i think for background all right so now i need to pick this up with something i think fairly juicy this uh copper is pretty juicy let me just see if i can get some of this up without having to i don't want to pay too much attention to it because i want to do some other stuff with my project today this is juicy but then it's got apparently it's got a um a little booger in there on the nozzle of the bottle of paint. A little bit there. Yeah, this is real. This is real slippery. That's one thing my um, bonus son said to me the other day. Well, it's a good thing in the past. Your life has been kind of kind of boring but yeah i'm ready to go back to boring i don't think i complained about it being boring she I have no idea what to get my grandson, who's five, for Christmas. Now that is solid. Kappa. Hello, Kappa. <laughs> Boy, I don't know that I'm going to, this is like really dry. It should pick up, right? Or maybe it's not dry enough. Where is some? So watch for me tonight sometime, maybe around 6, 6.30 Eastern. At least that's what I'm thinking. After Hubs gets everything lit, and then he's going to go on the tour of the other houses that are in the uh, holiday tour. I'll fuss with this later. I don't want to hold everybody up here with this. 
Jazzmatazz. So let's just put this away. And my camera's going to go crazy. So let me just sneak a paper under there. Some things I have just have a specific spot in my room. Is Janice back? A beach, oh yeah, beach movie fair, marathon. That would be fun. Um, all right, so my issue with, not really an issue, but my thought is with this packaging bag, I decided to stitch it down the middle because I was thinking I would trim these so where these would be not pockets, but an actual page because it's sealed right here but I'm, I'm thinking if I cut down too far and open this up it may be and I can stitch it I can stitch it I certainly can stitch it I just don't know if there's any kind of I don't think there's bubble wrap in there because it doesn't feel like bubble wrap and when I squish it it's not snappy do you know what I mean? It's not popping. There's no pop. pop, pop, pop. But it is kind of large. So I really think I want to trim it. I mean, I'm okay with, now this is, you know, this is fiddly to do this. little pop dots in there look they look like little um they look like little uh cocoons a cocoon. a boo -boo. all right so i'm going to trim off the bottom then as well well that's not bad see and then i can stitch that right If you had more strength in your arm, this cutter would be good, but I don't. Your own private tour. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do tonight. Devin. I mean, it's just traditional kind of Christmas. It's not like uh, primitive or like I would love it if it was all primitive. But we have a lot of stuff that I've painted over the years. Ceramic, wood, stuff like that. And I used to I used to do craft fairs and sell painted <laughs> phone bookers. Yeah, I didn't realize. I was thinking it might be something that was like all particles that would come out and make a mess. But it is not. See, so look, I have different kinds of pages now, which is just lovely. Now, I know I'm going to have to then trim the pages that I just painted and printed on. Oh, sorry, forgot about my, my crazy mat. Tonight, tonight. Oh, maybe they will work. This is real flimsy whimsy. I have a couple of sheets because it was from a different different packages. That's a little, a little more dry. All right, heat tool for just a little bit. Bear with me. Bear with me. Now we know the secret inside. Yeah. And it's not scary. I thought it was going to be a bit of a nightmare. Okay. All 
Kind of cool. I don't know how how great you're seeing it on the screen. I'm thinking I might stitch around all these pages, but I don't know. And I'm going to do more pages off camera off camera so it's nice and chunky and chubby i just love chubby chubby journals well, these are not together it's exactly the way i want the folds or not see that one's a little a little taller he might need a little bit of a trim. I think I want that to be my front. I probably should mark it because I'll forget. But see, I'm going to need to print on these. Can be my center, and then I'm going to have my pages. And um, I don't know if I want to put in other pages. I might. I'm not sure. See, I've got some of these that are different sizes, you know, cutoffs from the because they just pull like big long strips of packing paper and then just scrunch it up. Lurie inspired me to fill one page in my journal. Design paper bags, star cutouts, and paint. Um, can very nice, cool. Watching folks make candy is fun. Oh, I've been watching the reels. Reels come up with um, like the cutout cookies, like the big shapes, you know, like a Christmas tree or a snowman or just a circle. And then they put, um, they're using like not royal icing, but the kind that you can float. You can make it all different colors. And then you put it in your piping bag and they just squirt it on and make a smooth surface. And then they'll just go around and make little dots. And then they take a tool, a little metal tool, like it looks like um, a daughter, really, kind of to me. And they just swirl it back up and back, and it makes a candy cane. And they're making reeds, and they look so easy, and they're so beautiful. And then they sprinkle the sugar on. <sighs> I have enough hobbies. All right, so I'm going to print again on this. See, that's all this plain stuff. I just want a little, some kind of a little background. But I'm not sure how I want to do. Now, I'm just going to stitch in my pages with a blanket stitch. Um, but because I cut the ends off of my bag, I did run a stitch down the center. So then I had printed on this thinking I would make some kind of a pocket so there's other options and then I might just dig through and see what other um, paper I have in my stash you know I forgot to say welcome to bricolage with paint girly you know, using stuff that we basically have. Which, you know, we're always. But see, I'm thinking a stitched pocket. That might look good as a stitched pocket. Now, see, there's more of a contrast there. So maybe I'll stitch it on here. We have a little fold.
my litter, my little cover, I think, slid out of its. I think that's on the floor too. I'm thinking I will maybe zigzag stitch on the end here. I'll fold this in. Now I can also print and stuff, right? I pretend I'm E.T. once in a while and eat a peanut butter pieces pack. <laughs> That's very cute, Janice. <laughs> so that can be a pocket. But see, then I can get out my, my stamps too, right? So let's try. What if I... What if I stamp on this? Let's see. I have my I have that which I love now I've got these um, memento oh goodness me memento um, type not type brand I think that's what these are oh no this says do drop Brilliance. Sunico brand. I don't even realize what I was just singing. See, it just comes out of my head. How can I be sure that one in a world that's constantly changing? How can I be sure? I don't know that it was from, I guess it was in a movie, but I don't know. Where I stand with you, whenever I... See, I'm not sure this will show up, but what if I did... I'm going to mess up my... Yeah, they seem to ink pretty well. These have, I've had these... I got them, you know, from a, a group... Not a group sale, but a... Uh, oh. You know, somebody had a bag of jazz somewhere and I bought it. I love buying bags of jazz. The rascal sang, how can I be sure? So that's still like just part of the background, right? So now I'm going to come on, come on here with same stencil i don't know how this is going to look this might end up in the biz the biz bag as my dad would say that's what my dad would call the trash bag or the laundry bag the biz bag it might have been in a musical or something but not that i recall I admire you girls that can remember who sang some of these things. I mean, I just don't. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm liking that, girls. Can you tell? Can you see? I love the stamp. I forgot I had it. It's so yummy. See, and then I can put that on the bottom of a page. I should cover that up before I get in. Thank you, girls. I'm glad you can see it. If I stitch around here and then put, you know, something down here like a cluster, that'd be a pretty nice pocket. You could, I could jazz it up and not make it look so trashy. <laughs> so trashy, you know what I'm saying? So that could be there. All right. So what else can we do? These pages with the paint on it didn't stiffen up as much as I thought they might. So I am a little surprised, I have to say. So I'm wondering if I stitch around them if that might help a little and all that jazz Let's see what we can do with this piece 
And like I said, I'll make more pieces. I'm really thinking about stitching around the um, cover page, cover pages. Now, I also have stuff that I've been putting aside here. Little bits of, oh, this might be good. Let's see. I've got this. Maybe just if I stitch on a piece of just like muslin. And that can be a different pocket. The one thing that I don't like, if I stitch the pocket on, the one thing that I don't like is that when I, if I stitch it onto the page, then you've got the stitch marks on the back. But I like the look of the stitch. So if I stitch this first, mm, mm, we say, if I stitch it first, then I've got the look. The look of love. Now, I don't want it that way because I want my butterfly, which I'm not sure if you can see. There's a butterfly there. So these I'm going to trim like an old scrapbooking trick. I'm going to trim that and trim it that way. So when I fold it in, I'm not getting any push up you know like a bra you don't want it pushed up now i want to do the bottom as well and my sewing machine is right here plugged in and ready to a rumble So I want to do the same thing down the bottom here, I believe. All right, so the butterfly is that way. And then I think I want to stitch on maybe i want to stitch it there it could be a belly band of some kind hey joyce how are you nice to see you all right let's just going to take a moment i should have ironed that but once i stretch it and stitch it it might be okay see and then i can glue other stuff on but it's kind of like a base Right, so let's try. All right, give me one moment. I'm right. I'm right here. I think you can hear me. Oh, geez, look my my little um, paper trimmer that hit the floor came undone. I hope that didn't break. Oh, it looks like it might have. Oh, fudge! Everything's slippy and slidey. It's slippy and slidey. I didn't think about it breaking. But I think it did. I might be able to use, I don't know, maybe I think it looks like it's busted. Yeah, see the little latchy thing. I told you what I did the other day with my bowl of uh, my bottle of buttons. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's for another day. All right, so I'm going to switch my machine. I have an old Sears Kenmore. And. Oh, I feel I feel like I'm smelling like my husband's making cookies. 
Okay, he's thinking people are coming tonight. He's going to want some cookies. All right, so I'm going to do a zigzag. I have black thread in. I don't want too terribly zigged or zag. Now I put all my stuff that fell right on top of my sew machine. What do they call it? The pedal? Put the pedal to the metal. What do they call it? Some kind of a foot. No matter where I put it, it's like sliding. I need my foot just a little closer. Here we go. All right. All right. This won't take long once I ever get going. Okay. So now we're to start. That's the thing. Let's start at the bottom. And I want my piece of fabric right there. I think like a belly band. And I think I'll use that as a decorating kind of. Here we go. I don't really sew straight. That's why junk journals and I are friends because nothing has to be perfect. Just remember my one aunt, she would sew all the time and then she put the needle through her finger. Through her nail bed and everything, like her fingernail. So I'm always very cautious. And I always think of her. <laughs> Let's go back. Very good. Sometimes I forget to put the Pedal back down. Always in too big of a hurry. Hurry, hurry. Oh, this is good. If I do say so myself. A little back stitch. I don't really like sewing fabric that much, but I love sewing on paper. Just like I don't like ironing. Clothing, but I love ironing paper. Oh, sorry, Dev. Yeah, when I was younger, um, it was her middle finger and it kind of curled up just a little bit. So I had asked her what happened. And um, she said that's what she did. So there you have it. Look, I've got a little bit of a belly band. Now I'll probably put some glue there and then eventually some other little a button or something on there. But see, now I have the look of this, it being stitched to the page. But I avoid having to deal with stitch marks on the opposite side. Which I don't mind stitch marks if I'm coming down the edge of a page. But to have a box stitch mark. Mm, not so much um, for me as far as taste. So that can be another design element, right? For on this type of journal. Now, I don't want to do like, um, like a theme like Christmas or anything. So I've got a couple of things sitting here. But I think I'll get out some napkins. Thank you, Devin. And I think I will, on my pages, add some napkins. I don't think I have my napkin. Where did I put that? 
Oh, there goes some more. There goes some more stuff. Everything. My room isn't super cold today, but everything's got a little bit of a chill, I guess. And it's all slippy sliding. Truly slippy sliding. Where did I put my? There it is. I see it. I see it. I. I said when I first came on that I got one of those wheelie carts with the three baskets. And so I'm trying to decide what I want to keep in there. So I've been rearranging some stuff. And I am getting things packed up and put a, put back in their spots. Oh, that owl's kind of cool, isn't he? Let's take let's take him out. Let's give this. Let's see if this. I think this guy is gonna work. I'll pop him back in. So if you're wondering, I took some of these page protectors and stitch them together. And this is all the different napkins that I have. And I can pull them out of here and use them. Or I can go to my stash and find more. But for today, I think I'm gonna just pull them out. And I see, see this is a, um, this is a Jane Davenport that kind of goes with the look of this journal. So I think I'm going to get that out. Of course, I've got the Christmas stuff. Not looking for that. Ooh, look at that one. Mm. Maybe this one. I always forget what napkins I have. I forget all the stuff I have, unless it's right in front of my face. I don't remember. Oh, that might be nice because the pages are bigger. Let's take that. I know, right, Barbara? Me too. Me too. Look, I almost tore that the wrong way. I want to tear it this way. And the faces, I love those faces. Do you have the ones with the faces? I forget now how they came. I don't, Devin. I don't have a theme. I know I don't want to do like Christmas or anything like that. I was thinking more um, when I use the leaves, like more organic, like leaves and um, gardeny kind of stuff. And that that might be the direction I'm heading, you know, with the butterflies and whatnot. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Can you see? Oh, I love that. There's something sticking under there. I've got those blue butterflies, which might accentuate the butterflies of my stencil, or at least kind of bring that thought home. So let's just take a piece of this one. See, even if I just take um, a portion of one, I still have more in my little book here. I don't think I'm going to need to, so I'm just going to tear. And I can put these back if I decide not to use them, all right? It's a little fiddly getting them 
trying to stay on camera and get them back in. See, otherwise they would normally have that on my lap. It would be a little easier. Yeah, that's what I thought, Deb. Thanks. Thank you. Seahorse, not going to go there. Mushrooms, I don't think so. And I'm trying to stay in the blue, green, kind of. Oh, that's one of my favorite Christmas ones. Look at that one. Can you see? It's all one color. It's like a toi. Toi fabric. Ooh, that might be. Ooh, that peacock's kind of nice, isn't it? Where else would I use a peacock? Hmm. Lovely to look at, delightful to know. Oh, this is hard to tear. Can you believe it's November 30th? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. I can put these back in when I'm done. Sunflowers. I tried to group everything kind of together. Together. I don't want the whole thing to be napkins either. But, yeah. I still got room in here. Still got room. I can put other napkins. So this is a tool that I have found to be helpful for me. Now let's just say... I can really put a couple on a page that I haven't... Um, jelly printed on oh Barbara it was so nice to see you I hope you're doing well oh Kathleen I missed what Kathleen said I hope you're okay bye Barbara enjoy your day okay let's see Oh, I forgot my little alley. A little alley bally. That's a nickname my niece has for her brother, alley bally. Okay, so. See, I could do something like that. And then I could stamp. I'm thinking that peacock might be nice on one of the inside covers. I want to get his. I'm going to get his tail and everything in there. Maybe the. Maybe he'll be the centerfold. Hmm. Maybe something like that. And like I said, don't forget, I've got other pages that I've got to make to put in here he went for x-rays and was fine but i already had my finger and toe tissues before that and i just reinforced my tissue i totally broke down when my four-year son got his thumb squished in a big glass door while i'm oh that happened to our son you going out, huh? Yeah. I had a couple of collisions. Can you sign these real quick? Oh, hold girls. I got to sign. Is this my name or do I have to do the POA thing? POA. What, honey? POA. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Uh, I guess our son was, gosh, he was little. He was like maybe only issue. Oh, okay. 
who's 20 now and it still makes me upset think yeah i i'm i i get it um i was by myself with the two kids colleen must have been well they were only they're only 14 months apart so she was probably only three or four so you know brian was little and i got him out of his car seat but i said don't get out of the car I'm going to put Colleen on the sidewalk and the mommy will come get you. So he was standing up behind the driver's seat. And what I didn't realize is he had put his little hand out the door. And I went around to grab her to put her on the sidewalk. And when I shut the door, his little fingers were in there. I thought I busted his whole hand. <sighs> so I go running into my girlfriend's. And I'm crying. And she's like, what's the matter? I said, I've got to take him to the doctor. I don't know if I busted his hand. I'm telling She's like, leave Colleen. My, our doctor's office, this was Northeast Philly. Our doctor's office wasn't too far from there. She said, go take him. So I just, um, I mean, I called the doctor's office. They said, bring him right over. And I'm crying. I'm <laughs> crying on the phone doctor comes in i'm blah I'm say i'm so sorry i'm crying i said but you know by this time brian had stopped screaming you know blood curdling screams and um sorry Devin, but he was fine his fingers were fine he could move his fingers he just he was bruised and it really didn't even break the skin um but the doctor said, I'd be a little more concerned if you weren't upset. She said, stuff like this happens. But boy, I'll tell you, I paid attention to that for the rest of the time, raising my kids and really everybody watching where they're, because it's just a natural. He just naturally grabbed that spot. So I understand what you're saying, boy. It's just not easy. So something like that might look good. So I'm just going to find different things that I have in my stash that I think can work. You know, I'm gonna put some fabric in for sure, little swatches of fabric. So all that just to say, don't throw out your trash, which a lot of us don't, but I just, you never know when something's gonna spark your creativity and this is just this is a, a mailing bag from amazon see i can put something there i could put tissue you know a napkin there unless i want to work around that and use that as part of part of my design i know right Def? i had a bunch of those i don't know if i have any more do you want some that I can meal easy easy peasy so that's where I'm headed with this oh I know and you were going to lay down that's okay sweetie I'm going to wrap it up getting a little hungry here for me it's lunch time for me and uh, so I'm going to grab a little bite oh my oh my Kathleen all right, so Dar is going to go. All right, Devin. I just have, just don't count on it too soon because, like I said, my life has been cray cray. I know I owe Sherry. I haven't forgotten, Sherry, if you're watching, Sherry Habig. Um, I, I owe her happy mail. I think I'm caught up on everything else, but um, there's just a lot going on in our family right now. So, but I will get it out. I'm pretty sure I still have. My girlfriend, Jean, sent me quite a few of these. Yeah, he's a cool guy. I have, um, anywho, look for me tonight because I'm going to I'm gonna make myself do it. Sometimes I get a little chicken um, to do a live from my phone. But the house is going to look really cute. And um, I'm going to take you outside and start from the outside, hoping that the cam, you know, my phone camera will um, really do it justice from the outside and then bring you in so you can see uh, my hubby's handiwork and decorating our house for the holiday tour in our community 
So I'm looking forward to doing that this evening. So have a good afternoon. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here so very much. No, I won't forget. I will not forget that. You can trust. I won't forget. It'll just, and when I get Sherry's together, I can get yours together because <clears throat> I can do that all at the same time. I'm just not sure about the postage from, for Canada, but it just, you know, a little envelope, right, can come and, um, you know, it's not like a house payment. <laughs> all right, ladies. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for being here don't forget take time to be creative and enjoy the journey and i will see you hopefully this evening do, 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 do. have a good afternoon bye-bye